Hello fabulous humans, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then well, hello. How you doing? Welcome. You just slipped into the most fabulous place on YouTube and I'm so happy to have you here. Well, now that I have you here, before you get relaxed, you get too comfortable because I know it's cold where you act and you're trying to look for a place to get warm and cozy. But before you can come do that over here, chill. There's a couple of things you need to do. You need to subscribe to the channel, become part of the Glitter and Glam Squad so we can shine together. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will always be notified when I upload a new video. And while you're at it, hit the thumbs up button so YouTube knows that little old me, I need a little shiny, 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 yeah. Ooh, all of this winnings. Hey, all of this winnings in these city streets, okay? Look at how I'm shiny, shiny. Shani, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. It means a lot to me. And I appreciate you, you, and you. Thank you. So today's video is all about fall fragrances that you can wear if you live in, you know, places that are warm. So warm weather fall fragrances. Now you guys know I live in Texas and it's hot here. The weather has started to get cool. Today it rained which means the cold is coming. But we're literally in November, we're still having like 70 something degrees. You know, like the last week of October, we had 88, almost 90 degrees. So it's still warm here. I am struggling, I wanna wear some fall fragrances. And then I looked at my collection, I said, you know what? These are the fragrances that I am wearing. Now, over here that we're still in the 70s, we're still in the 60s, we haven't made it to the 30s yet. So if it's warm where you are and, um, Everywhere, everybody else talking about, about fall, but you're like, chill, it's still hot out here. I need some fragrances that are for fall, but I can wear it in warm weather. Go grab yourself a warm drink. Actually, I have a cool drink in here. And come right back and let's get into some warm weather fall fragrances. <laughs> so warm weather cold fragrances. <laughs> that night I said I was recording late. I wasn't recording late. I was just smoking, chilling, had a couple drinks. Before we get into the meat and potatoes, you know high heels on my tippies fancy cream gloss that's on my lippy this is in the shade cookie jar and that's what i have on my lip and every time i see the name what comes to my mind is who took the cookie from the cookie jar because <laughs> that's what my son is singing before not anymore because now he feels like he's grown anyways now let's get into the fragrances the first fall fragrance for cold weather that i have been enjoying because over here like i said we're having we're still in the 70s we're hitting 80s the weather is starting to get in the 60s now but this fragrance i have been enjoying it because it's so perfect for this time of the year i've, I've not heard anybody talk about this fragrance this is a fragrance that, you know, I discovered while I was in LA. I sniffed it at the scent bar and it was a hit. But then I didn't buy it from there because it was expensive. And I found it online cheaper, which I will link down below. <laughs> this is from The Different Company. And this is called Majana Sin. This fragrance made me familiar with the brand. This is a brand I discovered in 2024. This is so good. There's chestnut in here. It is, it's nutty, but then it's fresh. It's like in a blooming way. It is so good. Now I want to try, there are two more fragrances from this house I want to try. One of them, the juice is red. Another one, the juice is purple. I can't remember the names, but this one, Majana Sen. I am looking for the nozzle so I can put this on me because you know I had to put it on me. I'm putting extra. This is so beautiful, so underrated. No one's talking about this beauty. And the top notes, you get bitter orange. Now you see why you can wear it like while it's still warm. So you're getting that mandarin orange feel where it's fruity. You get orange blossom, so it's like, hey. And you get ginger, you get neroli and bergamot. So at the top, you're getting this fresh fruity burst. And in the middle notes, you get chestnut, so that's where it starts to warm up a bit. You get cinnamon, so it spices it up a bit, so you're getting that spicier chord. And you get heliotrope and orchid. Now this, I'm going to tell you, this did not make it to the layering combo video. It just hit my head right now, and I'm going to tell you what that combo is soon. But And in the base, you get vanilla, you get tonka bean, you get amber, and you get sandalwood. 
this is beautiful this is like a nice fall now the note is the smell is not unique it's not like if you smell it it smells like something you have smelled before but this is just gorgeous like it's a gorgeous gorgeous fragrance and i absolutely love it and as i was looking at the notes i saw heliotrope i saw orchid i saw vanilla i saw tonka bean with the chestnut i said um hello <laughs> lilac clove there's heliotrope in here there's tonka bean there's vanilla <sighs> this two i think will go together so well and i did not put this in the fall layer room video i'm still wearing this outfit so i'm just gonna act like this is the layering video but i think this two will go so beautifully and i cannot wait to test them out and this is lilac love and lilac love to me i think you can wear it this time of the year because over here it's still warm and i can wear this i love this too in the winter time because it just makes me feel like grandma is giving me a hug but because of the notes you can wear it right now so let me go ahead and put some lilac love on me Oh yes, you can definitely wear Lilac Love right now. So if you have Lilac Love, bring it out. It is powerful. It is strong. It's beast mode. Let's see, don't sleep on this bad boy. This I think was like 70 something dollars. And this is a 3.4 ounce. You cannot beat this with a stick. So Majana Sin is such a good fragrance. I love it. And I have a mini dent. I love that dent. I like that now the next fall fragrance for warm weather this is for the elegant sophisticated lady that is not very nice <laughs> it, but she's rich as well and she's like a boss and every time you see her she has a resting face like <laughs> that's what i think of with this this is starlight from the house of zerjov you guys know zerjov is my favorite house in 2024 i kind of put them in the back because i was exploring different houses because honestly i'm like damn i'm like 20 almost 20 bottles like i need to see what else is out there you know like i wanted to go around mess around a bit you know cheat on zerjov and then towards the end i came back and i got me a zerjov because i had to come back home this is starlight this is a cardamom bomb but i think that with this you can still wear it this time of the year i wore this and i layered it with nuit the sal by bdk one of the most underrated bdk that nobody talks about if you wear that nuit the sal and you layer it with this or because that's also a cardamom fragrance or you layer that with their tuberos imperial compliment galore this thing right here is stunning the cardamom is like heavy but this is so good for this time of the year. In the top notes, you get cardamom and bergamot. So it gives makes you feel like it's, you know, kind of fresh a bit. In the middle notes, you get cinnamon, you get almond. So it starts to get nutty and spicy. And then you get cloves. And in the base, you get amber and you get cedar. So that's where you get that depth from. I think that this is perfect if you live in a warm area. So if you're in the Texas area, I think people in ATL, Arizona, um, stand up. <laughs> this is for you. If you're in Africa, because you know, me being Nigeria, in Nigeria, we don't have like fall, winter, whatever. So um, Starlight is the one for you to wear where you feel like, you know, you're in the fall conversation, but it's hot where you at. So this would work if you're like in Nigeria, you're in Ghana, Cameroon, you know, um, I'm trying to think of um, Kenya, Somalia, and all those beautiful places, Uganda, South Africa. You would definitely um love starlight the next warm weather fall fragrance this one is the ultimate warm weather fragrance to me this and that majana scent you can wear this if it's hot all year round and you feel like fall and um it's not deep it's not dark it's like a fall in a fresh way this is amber elixir by vertos pari oui oui yes yes i love me some vetos parties i want one more from them i have three so far uh i was gonna get moroccan rose but that didn't do it for me i'm on the fence of salt patchouli but that's a, that one's too much <laughs> it's a bit much so there are a few that i'm thinking i don't know i may pick up one more now in the top notes you get dried fruits you get rum black pepper but then you get grapefruits and amnesia so did i say amnesia <laughs> <laughs> you get grapefruit and atmesia the grapefruit is what makes it all sparkly and fresh and you know where you can wear it right now 
in the middle notes you get amber you get saffron so it starts to get deep and expensive and in the base you get thick wood you get musk you get sandalwood tonka bean and castorium this fragrance right here is the epitome of warm warm weather fall fragrance you can wear this it is so good to wear right now so if you're in a warm area and you're looking for a fragrance that you can wear and still feel like you're wearing fall fragrance and you like a little bit of booziness with some dried fruits, you would love this. If you have um, Sultan by Royal Crown, you can layer this with Sultan. And you know Sultan is more in your zone. So if you want something to mix with Sultan, to bring Sultan out of that bubble, because you know it doesn't project as much, this is the one to put on top of Sultan. And this, I didn't put it in the layering combo video because that video would have been so long. So that means we need like part two and three and four. <laughs> but this goes with sultan really really well and it's beautiful now the next four fragrance for warm weather this one it was a surprise hit and i think people are not talking about this fragrance i feel like the girls and the guys kind of moved on from this fragrance when it launched this is from the house of siage and this is the batman fragrance so in here you get pear you get magnolia you get apples in the top in the middle notes you get violet you get leather you get rose and in the base you get patchouli you get vanilla you get sandalwood you get musk and moss this to me is beautiful let me tell you i want mini mouse i want mini mouse i smelled that thing the cute little thing i have the um inspired version of mini mouse and i said no i'm gonna get the real deal because it's so good the inspired one is so good that i want the real deal because i love me some house of siage bottles so mini mouse and hufflepuff are on my radar this winter i have to get it i've been loving i mean i've been loving sugary sweet fragrances lately i'm like who are you like what's going on sugar sweet girl that's what I'm going to be this fall. A sugary sweet girl. Okay? And hopefully I don't go to the dentist. But this right here is deep, is dark, but the pear makes it sweet. And the apple still gives it that freshness to it. And then you start to get the patchouli, the uh, and the vanilla. This is stunning. It's really good. I don't know why. I, I'm like, can I just go ahead and put just a little, like, right here in the... I don't know why the girls not talking about this anymore, but um, Batman from the House of Sears, I used this thing. I did use it. It's very sexy. I love it. So if you're in a warm area, you need to check this one out. It's pricey. But you know, with House of Sears, if you keep your eyes out, you may be able to score it on a deal. Because that one was $418. I have to swallow it to say $418 but it is so good the next fall warm weather fragrance this one is i love this because it's very unique i think to me the bottle is unique because it is like an exclusive one so for the brand this one is unique for them this is rude oud by fragrance dubois this is their collaboration with harold's um for the harold's anniversary this one is a raspberry oud fragrance but this made me realize that when it comes to oud fragrance dubois knows how to make oud where you don't feel like you're wearing oud it's very soft it's very like demure very mindful <laughs> but this thing lasts for days and days on your clothes it's not going anywhere you get raspberry in here you get saffron at the top and in the middle notes you get leather you get rose and the base you get oud and amber this is stunning very fruity heavy on the raspberry so for me if you want to layer this i would layer this with a rose heavy fragrance i do have a rose heavy fragrance here that i've played with but i'm still trying to seal the you know the combo together and that fragrance is um from Amer Oud and that is um, Arabian's Rose because this is very, it's rose and oud but it's more heavy on the rose. So I tried this two together and it was given. So this two fragrances has been hidden and this I've been wearing it now that the weather is not, you know, cold. I lay it with another fragrance from Amer Oud called Femler. That I think is one of my favorite fragrances from them. I have been wearing that one as well but that's not like a fall, fall fragrance. But I love that layered with um, Arabian's Rose by Arabian's Rose. 
by Hermes Oud. This is an original fragrance from them. They do have original fragrances, okay? Uh, <laughs> this is one of the original fragrance. And um, I absolutely love this. But this is a traditional rose and oud. So if you like rose and oud, more rose than oud, you would love this. And I've been wearing this because, like I said, it has more rose than the oud. And the weather is like, mm -mm -mm. so this is perfect for it. Ombre Nomad is like... The weather's not yet there for me to bring out my Ombre Nomad again. So this has been the one that I have been loving. This is stunning. It's beautiful. It's like a sexy, elegant lady that loves red lipsticks. That's what this is given. And um, Arabian's Rose from Amer Oud. Next, Warm Weather Fall Fragrance. This is me in a bottle this fall. When I think me, this is what I think of. This reminds me of how I felt when... With Sa'i Mood was my fragrance when I felt like that was the one for me. This is Queen of Silk from the House of Creed. This bad boy right here, it is me. <laughs> I don't know how I was... Now I have part Carmina. Carmina was my favorite. I prefer Carmina to this for the longest. And I was a fool. And I can admit it. This is luxurious, rich, auntie. My fragrance event is coming up on um, Shameless Vlog, November the 16th at Amer Oud. And I have been thinking of the fragrance to wear that day. I haven't made up my mind because I feel like I wanted I want to wear a fragrance from them since it will be there. But Queen of Silk is one that's in the running. The second fragrance in the running, I don't even have it yet. <laughs> and that's the Istanbul by Unique Luxury. But Queen of Silk is in the running. Um, maybe I may layer it with a fragrance from them just to give me like a sexy combo. But this thing right here is me in a bottle. I love it. Like I, oh, I just wasted it on me because I shouldn't be wasting this goodness. But in here you get saffron, you get osmanthus and magnolia at the top. In the middle notes you get passion fruit, tuberose, patchouli and oud. And in the base you get ambroxan. You get Madagascar vanilla, you know, the rich people vanilla, and uh, musk, mare, incense, and cedar wood. This is divine. This is heavenly, and I am obsessed. The next warm weather fall fragrance. <sighs> this one, every time I see this bottle, it makes me realize that I get I go so hard on this um, brand for having ugly bottles, but I think this bottle is pretty because I made it look so pretty. This is <laughs> Tribeca by Bon Number no. 9. You can wear this thing right now. It, it it has cacao and hazelnut, but you can wear it right now. This is so good. People say, I do get that Baccarat Extra oh, Crystal Saffron. Hello, you have another person that <laughs> will be, I uh, might be pairing this with Crystal Saffron. Huh. In the top notes, you get hazelnut and cacao. In the middle notes, you get jasmine, sandbag, and cedar. In the base, you get ambroxan, caramel, and moss. I feel like this is going to go with um, crystal saffron, too. Although, I have plans for this. Fall is all about layering. So, I feel like I need to do a part two. <laughs> because as I'm going through this, I'm like, my brain is working. I'm thinking of things that I can add to this. I think I may add, if I add, I wonder if I add my alabaster to it, if it'll work. I will try that. And um, like I said, um, crystal saffron, extract the perfume to this. But this is very deep. It's very deep. So I feel like I need something sweet and juicier to pair with it. And this is sweet. This is sweet. This is good. Tribeca is good. So I'm... Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I think that this feels like a dream. I think that feels like a dream. I don't know if Vanille Planifolia will go with it. And my Casablanca. You see my Casablanca right here? <laughs> She's the next thing we need to talk about. Because literally, I wear her all year round right now. She goes with everything. This is my universal fragrance so this i think you can wear right now that it's not cold she she performs in the cold weather she performs in the heat anywhere 35 33 dollars 30 dollars 
you can even find it for 28 i'll link the cheapest i can find below but casablanca by swiss arabia honey i love me this thing right here i love it there's a new swiss arabia coming out i was gonna i think i'm gonna get it the price i'm like swiss arabia <laughs> what's going on <laughs> <laughs> but i think i'm going to get that one the notes look really really good but casablanca if you're on a budget and you're looking for something with caramel and apples and you want to smell like fall but you're in a warm area you can use this if you're in a cold area you can still use this casablanca is that girl i don't care what the people say to me casablanca will always be a love and she was not a love at first the first time i was like oh she's cute oh she's cute she's nice and now i'm in my second bottle <laughs> second bottle the next fall fragrance for warm weather you need to check out this is from the house of bdk and this is called velvet tonka this to me does the same thing that um majana sin does where it's it's nutty but there's orange blossom in there which means they can go together right but i love to layer velvet tonka with tobacco honey I didn't put that in the video what was i thinking this you get almond and orange blossom at the top in the middle notes you get tobacco and rose oil and in the base you get tonka bean you get bourbon vanilla amberwood and amaris this is really really good and for me the nuttiness with the orange blossom i think this two right now right now will go together real good but um Velvet Tonka from BDK, I think, is great for this time because the orange blossom makes it where it's like, hey, it's not too deep, it's not too dark, and I think it's perfect for warm weather um, in the fall. So, I love her. I do like her. The next um, warm weather fall fragrance, um, you need to check out. This for me is a dupe. <laughs> this is one of my favorite dupes right now. This is the Vani Planifolia dupe from Amer Oud. I love this thing. You guys know Vanny Plant for is like $630. Um, if you got it, hey, God bless you. <laughs> for people like us, they ain't really got it like that. Um, we're cool with this. And the people that have gotten this based off of my recommendation, they've said that they love it. It's hidden. Now, of course, nothing's going to be 100% um, hidden, hidden, hidden. This is so good. It smells like Vanny Plant to me. It smells like it. Just like it. And this lasts too. And I'll be using this in the fall because um, I use this as a topper. I use this by itself. Look at my dent. I will always have this refilled once it's done. I went through two travel sizes and then I started going heavy in the bottle. And I love this bad boy. I've been using her all day. <laughs> I literally use this fragrance almost every day. I love this thing. And I think you can use it now that the weather is warm. You can bring her out. It's vanilla. This is the kind of vanilla that you can wear when the weather is warm, when it's cold. So if you're in a market for vanilla fragrance and you like Vanny Planifolia by Golan and you know you ain't got it. <laughs> That's the most important thing. You know you ain't got it like that. Click the link below and save some coins. Now, two more fragrances to go. The next one for me, I'm wearing this. I don't care whether it's not um, the weather is too hot. And this is not cold enough. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm still wearing this. This is Amore Cafe from Montal. Mancera, sorry. <laughs> They're the same. Tomato, tomato. Amore, Amore Cafe from Mancera. I don't care if the weather is 80 degrees. I'm still going to wear this thing because it's delicious. I love it. It's ice cream, coffee. This is so good. I love this thing right here. And I think that if you're in a warm weather place and you want to feel like fall, you want something delicious, I think you can still wear it. However, if if it's still 90 where you at, <laughs> I don't know if you want to wear this in 90 degrees because it might get sticky. But if you're like in the 70s, I think you can still wear this. 70s, 60s, you can, and then we start going low and low. This right here is... I think this is getting to be like the girl of the season because the price has been going up with discounters and it's sold out like everywhere. I'm happy I snatched mine. I love this. I love this. So Amore Cafe, I think is perfect for me right now where I am, where I live this time of the year. Amore Cafe is doing the Lord's work. I know I said that I have one more to go, but that's a lot that is a la 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 i have this fragrance that is so surprisingly 
being one secretly and um, I think it's good for this time where it's not super cold although I think this would be good in the cold weather but I can't wait I started to pull her out this is panitone from Milano Fragranze and this is bread because it has buckwheat in it but then there's like rum in here this is very unique very different first time I smelled it I was like <laughs> what is this this is a mess it's a fool and then i kept sniffing and sniffing and sniffing my arm and i just went online and you i saw it online and i just ordered a full bottle like i could not believe it even melanie hey melanie she couldn't believe she's like what i said i just I, I i couldn't i couldn't help it this thing was so unique and beautiful and now i love this house because when i smell basilica from them i said that was basically a fool Basilica smelled like dried vegetables. I said, no, 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 no. And then I smelled this. I said, you know what? This brand is not for me. But then I kept sniffing my hand, sniffing my hand, sniffing. And then I said, oh my God, I like this. So I got it. And then I got Brera. Brera was an instant love. I felt like when I smelled Brera, I said, oh my gosh, this is incredible. Milano fragrance. Hey. You see that basilica? You can keep it far away from me because that's basically a fool. But you see, Panitone, Brera, I love. I love. And I have been wearing this here that the weather is still hot. I've been wearing her. And I got a little dent. So Panitone will be out and about in full force. Now, the last fragrance that I've been wearing. This is another... I want the weather to get slightly cooler so I can wear this one just slightly slight just a tad bit because I need this is the epitome of like sexiness in a bottle like when I wear this I feel like I'm a sex icon shit I feel like oh, you can talk to me long kiss good night from the house of Chris Collins <sighs> hello this thing right here this I think is perfect if you live in warm weather places, even in the fall, there's coffee in here. Hello, Amore Cafe. What's going on? <laughs> um, do I need to layer both <laughs> this? Maybe something. But you get peony in here too. And I think this oud, this is sexy. So yes, you get saffron, you get coffee bean and passion fruit at the top. Middle notes, you get rose de mer, pink peony and olibanum. And in the base, you get oud, amber and vanilla something may happen this may be be the one huh we need to do another fall layering video i'm gonna lay i'm gonna um call that one part one because <laughs> we'll be coming back in um november to do round two more layering <laughs> because everything i'm hitting i'm like wait a minute this goes with this this goes with what, what's going on everything fall is the best time for me to layer and um now i'm thinking i need to try it. first i have to try it long kiss good night with amore cafe because i'm seeing some coffee oody vanilla thing going on and i think that they would you know i'm doing matchmaking e-harmony over here so these are some fragrances in my collection that um, i think would be great if you live in areas that is warm but we're in fall and you want to be part of the girls and act like you know we're in the fall so let me know if you have tried any of these fragrances. Are they on your wish list? Which ones do you want to pick up? Okay. We're supposed to be in no buy, but we're we will be we're we're going to collectively hold hands and be in no buy in December. November, I'm gonna let it slide. <laughs> Cause we have so many Black Friday sales coming up. You know, we'll be shopping. So December and January, no buy. December is like this, but definitely January, no buy. But as always, all the fragrances that I talked about, I will link them down in the description box, you know, below. Like I always say, in all things, what do we do? We're going to add glitter. Whenever you're in doubt, add glitter. And when all else fails, your back's against the wall, your back's against the ropes. What do we do? Which one of these fragrances are we going to put on? Let me tell you, I'm still going to reach for this fragrance, my um, guilty pleasure. This is Alabasta from Vatabella Perfumes. I've been loving this cute little thing. It's 50 ml. I'm getting to the bottom. This is pure and coconut and musk. Oh, I've been loving this thing. And um, yeah, I'm going to put her on me. And what else are we going to put on to like complete this? Oh, Lyra. 
Lyra was just here looking at me. So I said, you know what? I love a lemon citrusy situation. And I'll still wear Lyra right now. Oh, no, 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 no. No Lyra. Bake. <laughs> Bake by Acro. This is the one that is good right now. So we put her at the back for our enemies because I laid the pack so my back stood down. And we're going to put all that on. <laughs> we're going to add. Oh, bake. Bake by Acro. Mm, mm, mm. It just hits and it's chef's kiss. We're going to put Bake by Acro on and we're going to add more glitter. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in another video. Of course, you're going to see me in another video. You know what? Because I ain't going nowhere. I'm back.